Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, Optimal Health Associates, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Welcome, doing a post tonight on biohacking. Something some of us have heard a little bit about, some of us have heard a lot about it. Some people haven't heard anything about it, which probably makes you not kind of as nerdy as the rest of us. So it's, uh, I believe, the 14th of August. Um, we are gonna do actually an open house at the practice on the 27th of August. August on Tuesday night at 5.30 on biohacking and introducing our new aesthetics group. So what is biohacking? Biohacking is a concept of human enhancement. And if you think about hacking in general and computer hacking, it's kind of getting into the details of a system and breaking it apart. So biohacking is a little bit like that conceptually where we're looking at details of cellular function, at least if you're um, coming from my position as more of a medical scientific person, um, where we're trying to figure out different mechanisms of actions in the cells that cause healing, and what can we do to facilitate healing, and what can we do to start to limit biologic aging, or maybe even, and this is the fun part, reversing biologic aging making you younger again biologically. Because a lot of us, especially in the United States and industrial, industrialized countries, have an older biologic age than our actual chronologic age, meaning we're getting a lot older a lot faster, and that's because our diets have been bad, we're sedentary, we're exposed to an incredible amount of toxins in the environment in the United States. I mean, it's really frightening with the roundup levels in human beings, the microplastics, the pollutants, the useless food we get at the grocery store um, that has no nutritional value. So we're kind of in a, we're not kind of, we're in a toxic environment. And then a lot of us too have been exposed to things either through work, um, vaccines, and some things like that that may not be so good for us too long term. So how do you reverse that and what do you do? And that's what biohacking is about. It's come, then this has been, something that's been ongoing. There's a one author uh, and scientist, Peter Atia, who has a lot of um, books on this and podcasts, and there are several others. But trying to put it all together is, is the challenge. And so there's multiple parts to biohacking for a person. And so when you're just starting to think about it holistically, you think, what are you eating? What's your nutritional status? What's your, I would say, your hormone status? What's your exercise status? And what are you doing to make those things better? And what opportunities are there? And so a lot of this has to do with things you do at home. I mean, things like eating better and exercising. Not as simple as it sounds, but that's one area to focus on. Number two, what are we doing to help our mitochondria? That's the central theme of this. What do we do to help the mitochondria produce better energy packets? Well, there's things you can do at home like cold plunging, you can get red light therapy, some interesting things like that. Number three, what can we do metabolically? Well, the one thing is fasting. Fasting lowers your insulin and changes how your cells work. And there's a process in your cells that some of you may have heard of called autophagy. And autophagy is kind of a, can be a complicated subject, but autophagy or Fudgy comes from phagocyte. And phagocytes are, are little bubbles in cells that are absorbing um, waste products and then processing them and then excreting them. So autophagy is the process of cellular cleansing in some respects. And there's things with fasting and other interventions that can help with autophagy or making you clean out your cells better. So again, lots of little things you can do on your own. And then there's things that we can do to help you in clinics like ours across the country that are like nutritional therapy, ozone therapy. Ozone therapy is when we draw blood and put um, ozone in it. Ozone splits from O3 because oxygen is O2. When you have a third oxygen molecule, it's O3. And a lot of you have heard me talk about this. So it splits into O2 and the extra oxygen molecule in your bloodstream or in the blood separates into, or attaches to a lipid and just think there's an electron sticking out of it. And when we infuse that back, that electron has energy and kind of bops all the cells and can reverse inflammation, reverse oxidative damage, but equally as importantly, it stimulates mitochondrial function. And, and, and that is a key point with everything 
with biohacking. The ultimate effects of biohacking kind of globally is to make your mitochondria work better because the mitochondria is the number one organ in your body. It's 10% of your body weight. If you're not exercising, it's 15%. If you are, that should catch your attention. If we make that work, maybe good things happen. So then there's stem cell derivatives, and then there's some really cool vitamin stuff that has been around, but there's some adjustments, and it's called NAD or nicotinamide adenide dinucleotide. Uh, it took me a while to say that that quickly, but I talk about it all the time. There's a new form of NAD that's coming out that we'll have in our practice that instead of having to do these five hour infusion or six hour infusions, we can do it in 45 minutes and get even better results with a virtually no side effects. So some really exciting stuff. So that's what biohacking is just as a global concept how to enhance healing and enhance biology. And I would focus on this for any of us getting older in particular, since I, I think I think it's fair to say our healthcare system is pretty much going down the drain <laughs> all the time. And, it, and it's pretty obvious to me as a first line provider who's seeing you know, 30 patients a day, day in and day out, um, we have to stay healthy. We don't wanna be dependent on the healthcare system over the next 15 years. It's just gonna become Unless some magical thing happens, we are going to have less access and greater challenges getting healthcare. So, biohacking or making yourself healthy is a great idea. And the finishing thought is remember, your body wants to heal itself. It is ready to do it. We just have to give it the tools to, to make it happen. So, good night and take care.